Welcome back. We are in front of our rammed earth off-grid sauna that we've been building for just over a month. We hosted a rammed earth workshop on how to build rammed earth walls, which enabled us to complete the majority of the rammed earth walls, except for one last section of the fourth wall. I finished uh, the last wall from this point up. And unfortunately, I had a bit of an issue with the mix and the rammer I was using compared to the one that Max was using with the class. The rammer I use is a little heavier and compacts a little bit more. But at the end of the day, what happened is the lifts I put in washed out a little bit, as you may or may not be able to see in this light. There's a couple cool things that we did in this wall, and we'll, we'll get a close-up of them. So we embedded some calcite into the wall with the highlights as well as some just granite into the wall as well to give it a bit of a different look. But all said and done, we do have all the rammed earth done. We have started uh, on the roof. We have our sill plates in and we're going to be framing the roof out of, we're reusing the whalers that we were using for the form support for the roof structure. And that's going to give us an 11 7 8 depth roof. So we're going to get that put on here, which is going to help protect the rammed earth. And you can also see we do have water marks that came through from our water. And we're hoping that we can pressure wash this off after we let it cure for the 28 days prior to sealing. And also backfilling and damp proofing. And uh, But we have other things we can carry on with, with the sauna while we're waiting for the curing to happen. It's been a few weeks now since the course has been completed. And in that time, we have done what? We've put a roof on the sauna. A roof on the sun. Yay. Yeah. And in order to get the roof on, we've also cleaned up because there was quite a bit of uh, yeah. materials. That's one of the things about round earth is you, there's lots of bits and pieces of materials that you need in order to form up the round earth. And it is quite a bit to move it all around and uh, keep everything organized, which was a little bit challenging to do during the course. Mm -hmm. uh, however, we did get everything cleaned up organized and we're also getting ready for winter because it seems september. like it's coming it's coming mm -hmm. it's early september and it already feels like winter's coming which is really weird because like i've gardened into the end of october outside yeah. so it does feel like it's going to be an early and really cold winter so we're preparing ourselves by bucking up wood for our wood burner which is how we heat our house and that's a lot of work. We have an entire logging truck of wood to process, stack, cut, stack, and then store behind our shed um, and to be able to heat our house all winter. Good exercise though. Yeah, it is good. And it's good temperature to do. It's a little chilly. Yeah. Um, we and, hatched out some more chicks. Yeah, we hatched out more chickens. Mm -hmm. The uh, gardening season was pretty crazy, but... Also late. It was late. Yeah. Uh, like we said, we were really busy, so I didn't spend a lot of time in the garden this year, and I didn't spend pretty much any time filming, but it was a great year, and we're still eating out of it, and it's very bountiful, so I'm grateful. But today's video is about putting on the roof on the sauna. So this was done two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks. Yeah. yeah. First thing that we did is we put just a sill plate ledger on, which is a two by four rough sawn material, which we did around the perimeter on the top of the rammed earth walls. And this is then fastened to the rammed earth walls with uh, wedge anchors, or you can use nails and wire. We've done both those in the course, in the workshop, showing people how to do each one of those fastening methods to essentially to concrete. I also show sugi bond, the Japanese method of preserving wood, that material, because it is exposed. Um, you can sort of see it kind of behind is the black shadow line below the, the roof joists, which is the next thing that we put on. So the roof joists are an eye joist, which we also used for the whaler system of the rammed earth wall forming. So we have reused materials that we had for the rammed earth wall construction, which is ideally what you want to do to try and keep costs down. Um, that way you're using materials for more than one, one thing and not just purchasing it for just the rammed earth, you can actually incorporate it into your building, which is an important thing to consider when you're getting the materials. So once we got the roof framed up, uh, we just used our 11 7 8 eye joist, which gave us a uh, good overhang. That's another thing you want to do is protect the rammed earth walls as much as you can with overhangs, protect them from 
the elements, primarily rain. Um, sheeted the roof once the eye joists were in place with uh, half inch sheeting that was actually given to us from a neighbor who built and had it as temporary floor protection. So that was good. So that didn't cost us anything. Mm -hmm. And then we used leftover form ply for our rough fascia. And then what do we do for finished fascia? Cut offs from the sawmill. Yes. So they're one inch, mm -hmm. but they're live edge, which you can see it's, and then we also show Sugi Bond that. Yeah. It looks really nice. And we did two layers of it. So it's like a shadow board. Yeah. And once that was put on, we then purchased uh, a high temp peel and stick roof membrane. This is a low slope roof. It's 212. And put the membrane on. It's a blue material, but it's peel and stick. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we metal got roof. a snap lock metal concealed fastener, um, which we ordered cut to length. It went out really fast. Yeah, essentially didn't have to cut anything with the, with the metal. Just a couple of the trim pieces I had to cut. That was it. So you can see it also has an overhang with uh, like a drip edge on all four sides. It's already been tested in the rain. Yep. <laughs> and the nice thing about the snap lock concealed fastener, especially with the low slope, you can see we're surrounded by trees. Any of the needles that fall, ideally they're not going to get hung up on uh, the screws that have the rubber oh. washer. Yeah. So that's a benefit of going with this product. It's a little bit more expensive. But, but we have we have um, tamarack and larch, a yeah. massive <clears throat> population of those trees in our area, and they are deciduous. They're a hybrid. The tamarack, okay. the ones, but they lose their needles. Yeah, they're they're a hybrid, deciduous coniferous. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um. Anyway, they lose their needles, and we've got a ton of them, so we yeah. do have a massive problem with that. So that's why that roof system works really well for out here. Um. Yeah, I just love the way that the um, the roof looks. It just is so sharp with the black. Uh, on black the goes well with the brown. Yeah, it does. And that's going to tie in well with the greenhouse that we're building as well. And, and that, then, that roof system will be this too. Yeah. The same roof finish. Yeah, so it's good to test it out beforehand. And then we still have soffit, right? So we're going to do soffit. Mm -hmm. And we have one more week to go. So it's been three weeks since the course. We have one more week to go to let the rammed earth seal, or sorry, cure, cure, prior to sealing it. And we're going to do like a tar for this portion of the rammed earth below grade. Yeah. And then we'll do a concrete sealer above grade. Yeah, just like we did with the greenhouse. And then we still have to do the interior. So we've been um, doing a bunch of research and pricing out uh, sauna packages for the actual inside of the sauna. What he we're doing wood. We are doing wood heat. Yeah. We're we doing rocks. Well, it's wood. It's wood burning, and it has with the rocks on the top. Yeah. <laughs> it's wood burning. James has been doing his research. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at pictures. Uh, yeah. So we have some in mind, but we're James is taking a trip this upcoming week to one of the bigger cities around us um, to go and check that out. Hopefully, buy it, and we will be taking you through the whole process of completing this sauna because like we said with the cold winter coming we really want to be able to utilize this sauna this winter we will yeah it's going to be the first project we finish yeah except your glass greenhouse and the garden the garden yeah so and we also don't have any updates as far as our permits being released for the greenhouse yeah. or the carriage house yeah um, i'll link a video up here about why we got stopped on those other projects that we have going on but one day soon they will continue we were really hoping to have our geothermal all-year-round greenhouse functioning this winter too we might with a little luck but it'll be going sometime this winter yeah it's just going to be not optimal like it would have been nice to have it enclosed before snow and uh, yeah. maybe we still will we'll see what happens we'll see what happens yeah. but be sure to um check out some of our other videos on the other round roof projects that we have started and not completed yet <laughs> if you're interested at all and yeah i guess we're you're gonna go back to can we go chop wood now bucking up some wood yeah
Thank you.